What's a fact that shocks you about a country's history? Greece was in the Roman Empire longer than Italy. The Mongolian Empire had a lot of territory, but didn't rule as long as you would think. Switzerland, known for its peace and neutrality, Switzerland actually has a long history of being a mercenary powerhouse. For centuries, Swiss soldiers were renowned for their skill and discipline, and they were hired by European powers throughout history. This even included the Pope. The atrocities of my country in the Dutch East Indies. Cutting of hands, noses, breasts, putting salt in wounds, scafism you name it. The craziest thing is, the coolie system where plantation owners were free to kill or torture endangered laborers only ended in the 1930s. How many people died there of slavery or the coolie ordinances or the cultivation system is unknown. But the victims of the Dutch colonial worst conquests alone was around 4 million. During World War II, every Japanese person in the USA were suspected for being spies or terrorists on behalf of the Japanese government. This lead to most all of them being sent to all American-made concentration camps on American soil. Canadian healthcare has a long history of sterilizing indigenous women against their will, a practice that hasn't seen any decline and has been reported to have occurred as recently as 2019. This just another instance in a long list of genocidal actions Canada has taken against the indigenous people whose land they occupy. 1985 move bombing, colon and dot wikipedia.org wiki 1985 movie bombing in the USA. The extent of human cruelty throughout history. The Romans used urine for washing and cleaning teeth. The atrocities committed by Belgium in the Congo. ID always thought of Belgium as a good country. Obviously not, at least at that period in history. Philippines war on drugs and extrajudicial killings. Despite England being considered a bit quaint and old-fashioned by Americans, no one has been found guilty of witchcraft in London since 1944. The population of Ireland had dropped from 8 million before the famine to 2.7 million 25 years after the famine ended. Not much. All countries have skeletons in their closets. Millions of skeletons. And those skeletons have all sorts of bits and pieces missing or shattered. Dot. Slaveholders talking about liberty and equality as a human right. Poland basically shifted a couple hundred KMS west immediately after WW2. Since the dawn of the industrial era of history, no edit. Very few authoritarian countries have lasted even 100 years with the same system of government. The current record holder is North Korea with 76 years. The Soviet Union fell apart after 68 years. Nazi Germany only lasted 12 years. Democracies, for all their superficial volatility, are stronger and more stable than dictatorships, even though the latter work hard in their propaganda to look strong and steadfast they are really quite fragile. The dirty war played out between Britain and the IRA. The cheapness of human life was astounding, especially by people involved in government. Unit 731, Tulsa, Oklahoma, didn't know about this until the Watchmen series on HBO.